Hello, I'm Chris Menard. Today I'm going to discuss in Microsoft Teams a couple features that have been out for just a few months. One is making an announcement instead of a conversation. You can change it to an announcement. Here's an example of it. I have an image in the background and I wrote over at Atlanta Humane Society. I also made it important so it's showing up. The second feature, so I'll cover how to make the announcement. The second feature is you can have an announcement show up in multiple channels. So as you can see over here on the left hand side, I'm going from one channel to another channel and I had this announcement show up in both. Um, more good news, the features I'm going to show you work obviously in Teams on the desktop because that's where I'm at right now. But I wanted to see if they would work on Teams on the web. So I'm going to jump over for just a second. I'm on the web now, Microsoft Teams. So here's how you can make that announcement. And here's an example of why you would share an announcement with multiple channels. So I have a team called MS Office with several channels in it. Um, there's a new feature that just got released in MS Office called Tabbed Panes. And I'm not covering it today, but I'll show you just quickly what it does. I'll make a video on this next week. So I have PowerPoint running. I go to animations and crank up the animation pane. It'll appear over on the right hand side. But then I want to see comments. Well, comments opens up in a tabbed pane also. So new comment. Watch this. There is tabbed panes, the animation pane and the comments pane. So this is actually saving me a lot of real estate. I'm going to open up one more pane. Now I've got three. I've got format shape, comments, and the animation pane. I'll have a video on that next week. But I want to post an announcement to make sure everyone in the MS Office team because that feature is available in PowerPoint, which I just showed you, Word, but it's also available in Excel. So I'm on Excel right now. I've got a new conversation. Down below it says Format. I'm going to click on Format. And here is where you go from a conversation to an announcement. An announcement allows you to add either an image or a title with a background. So that's one thing that's cool about it. So if I don't like this blue background, I can change it to different colors that are already in here. I'm going to just stick with uh, this one here. So I could type in tabbed panes. I can have a subheading for my announcement. Cover in all classes and then I could put down here this is a new feature I could put how it works so I have an announcement if you recall I said it works in both Excel it works in PowerPoint and it works in Word so I have this feature here post in multiple channels I'm already in Excel so it says to Excel and I'm gonna hit select channels over on the right hand side I want to also see this in PowerPoint and in Word. Excel's grayed out because that's the channel that I'm in. That's what has the word source. I can hit update. So now I'm not going to do it yet, but when I actually send this announcement, it'll show up in all three channels. If I wanted to, I could also make this announcement mark as important. If you notice, it says cover in all classes for my subheading. If I hit mark as important, it'll show up right above there. Right there. I'm going to just turn that back off. I can also, if I wanted to, I could use an image. So if I came over here and clicked on an image. It wants an image that's 918 by 120. That's how I had the picture of Gracie with the Atlanta Humane Society. Upload an image. Um, act like this is something about tabbed panes. This image is not the correct size, but here's another cool feature. 
Just drag it and resize it while you're in here. But I'm gonna hit cancel. I'm gonna go just use the tad panes. This is only for MS Office 365. There'll be a bunch of bullets down here. I'm gonna go ahead and send this. So this should show up in Excel, obviously, but it should show up in the channel for PowerPoint and in the channel for Word. So I'm gonna send it. An announcement always has the announcement icon up in the top right corner. I'm on the Excel channel. Let's go to the PowerPoint channel. There it is with the announcement icon. Go to the Word channel and there it is. Let me go ahead and show you since I'm here, if you post it in a channel, you say, oh, I didn't want to post it in that channel. You Cool feature they have, you can either delete it from the current channel you're in or you could delete it from all channels. Let's say I want to delete it from just this one. I'm the one that posted it, so I'm gonna come over here and click, delete, and look what the message says. Delete this message from three channels. If I uncheck it, it would only, if I hit yes, delete, it only deletes it from the channel I'm in, which is Word. I just want to show you where that is, but I'm going to hit no, go back. So there is announcements, and there is also post in multiple channels. Thank you for your time. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any questions at all about MS Teams, let me know the question down in the comment section. I appreciate your time. Have a wonderful weekend.